Hey guys, Jasmine here. So, um, I know I haven't done a video in a super long time. Um, the main reason is because I don't have any gerbils and any guinea pigs anymore. I do plan on getting, uh, another pair of gerbils, um, maybe next month. But I've kind of been focusing more on my fish and my chinchilla. Um, so yes, I did get a chinchilla. But today's video is not going to be about him. His name is Jax, though, by the way. So, uh, last weekend, uh, not weekend, last week I went and I got this, um, Dragon Scale Male Betta. Um, he's very beautiful. You can kind of see him if he comes around. Or if he just turns around. But yeah, so he's very handsome. If you just look at him. Usually he's quite mellow, but yesterday, um, I got a female Delta Beta, which is this girl right here. She's actually really pretty if my camera would focus, which it probably won't because I'm on my iPad. Um, but she's uh, super pretty. Um, she's like this aqua and purple and she's just so pretty. I love her and she's just she has the sweetest temperament. Um they're both actually really mellow except when he sees her he's like kind of showing off to her. But she's never done this before. Even in the store when I've got him, I put him next to a couple other male betas so they can see each other and they flared at him and he just kind of ignored them. So it's probably because she's a female. But his name is Romeo, and her name is Emerald. And, like I said, he's um, a dragon scale, and she's a delta. But currently, she's in a separate cup from him right now. But, um, and he is in this one and a half gallon tank, and she's just in this half gallon tank. Well, cup. I'm getting them a ten gallon tank later on. Hopefully tomorrow, maybe today. I'm not too sure yet. But, um, yeah. So, I might breed them. Well, actually, I am going to breed them. And I know a lot of people are going to go against this. But I have bred betas before. And I know everything there is to know about breeding betas. And I might make a video on it in case anyone else wants to know about the simple part of breeding betas. Sorry, that was just my phone. Um, I might make a video, but there are a lot of videos already out there about breeding betas. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to introduce you to Romeo and Emerald, which is just behind some rocks right now. Um, this definitely, like I said earlier, isn't their full setup. I just brought them to my mom's house because they were at my dad's, so I'm going to put a heater and a filter in here now. Um, so, yeah. So, like I said, that's Romeo and Emerald, and their temperaments, they're very sweet and calm. They avoid fights. Um, they don't look for trouble at all, except since Romeo is now with a female, he is flaring up and showing off and yeah so I'm just going to go ahead and find something for him so he can make a bubble nest because he has tried to make a bubble nest but they haven't he doesn't have anything for them to stick on to so oh there he is he's kind of showing off for you guys um but I don't but he doesn't have anything for the bubbles to stick on to right now so I'm just going to go find something so that the bubbles can stick on and he can start building his bubble nest. Okay guys, so I'm back and I found a hibiscus leaf, um, which in Bermuda they're very popular flowers. They're non-toxic. Um, it has been sitting in the sun for a bit, so that's good. Um, so hopefully he starts making a bubble nest. Um, and I'll put the female in within about three days so they can start the chase. And then after that, 
Then comes the embrace. Once they embrace for about a day, I will take her out so that all the eggs will be up in the bubbles and the male can tend to the eggs. So I guess guys, that's about it for this video, just so that you can meet my new betas and find out my plans with them. And yeah, so I'll make another video once he has um, kind of calmed down and started making his bubble nest.